we were seven girls in the family and uh, one boy. And this boy was the last born. The fellow villagers uh, kept on laughing at my father. I started asking myself, I said, is it a crime to be born a girl? So it was from that time I declared anything that a man can do, I can also do it. Sylvia and Hector Banda's new business would focus on the distribution of locally grown Zambian foods. But getting produce from farmers in the remote countryside proved a challenge, as was creating a process to maintain modern standards for food quality. When I escaped from North Korea, I was 27. I crossed the Jangbaekhyun River into China. There were too many North Korean security guards patrolling there. So I walked the mountain trails at night with no food for a week. I went hiding during the day and walked the trails at night again. The North Korean defectors have no relatives in the South. They are mostly single and have no property. So borrowing money is the hardest thing for them and also the most important thing. Daisang meets regularly with various owners to discuss business issues, cultural differences and basic moral support. North Korean refugees have many challenges. They often change their names in order to avoid arrest and reprisals to their relatives who are still living in the North. Then they find they are not so easily integrated into the South. Ok Boon and her family escaped from North Korea two years ago. I escaped with my husband, myself and two sons. Mr. Kim helped us with loans. That was how we got started. I expect that someday North Korea will open her doors. When it does happen, the former North Korean defectors will be experienced business people backed with funds. Then we'll be able to play our roles in the reconstruction of North Korea. Katarina Rybarikova had an idea. She would bring the growing Paul Frank brand with its distinctive monkey logo from America to Eastern Europe. Now we are the only uh, official Paul Frank store in Europe. It was really so easy. Katarina has hired her brother, Eric, to manage product research in a growing business. Their mother, Olga, is the bookkeeper. Katarina is a fascinating person, and I'm not saying that just because she's my daughter. I'm very proud of her and Eric, of what they've achieved, and I'm happy to be a part of such a company. I'm happy that I live now and I didn't live before. John Hernandez grew up in a small Chilean village. He went to work on a beekeeping farm to learn the trade. And after five years, he, his two brothers and sister, pooled their money to invest in their own beekeeping business. The bee health situation was very bad. So we got serious about our professionalism. We were no longer peasant beekeepers that we were at the beginning. We had to turn our company around and incorporate technology. And to do that, we had to hire experts and bring them from abroad so we could be taught how to save our bees. We trained ourselves and educated our workers. But maintaining the health of his bees was not going to grow the business. John needed a new source of income. His research led him to a large French bee producer in desperate need of new hives. John's company began exporting queen bees and even full hives to France. Since Chile has one of the most open trade policies in South America, implementing this new source of income was not difficult. John and his family had made a new life for themselves and for others in their community. For his parents, such success would have been unthinkable. My name is Veronica Creso, and my micro factory is Fibras Diseños y Hogar. We manufacture loom, weaved, and felt objects. We make rugs, throws, and cushions. And we are planning on making curtains and sheets in the future, all home decor. 
So far we have made 20,000 pesos we have saved. With that money we will buy some wool to make a rug that was ordered. Today, Veronica and her partners are moving into their new workshop. We want to prove that even though we live in an encampment, we can do it. We want to have more income and at the same time make our business grow so we can employ our own people, all of those that live here at the encampment. That is why we decided to do our workshop right here where we live. Newfound economic freedom is changing lives.